Next, the other challenges that we'll discuss is smart container. The vaccine is one of the sensitive product and need to take care much in order to maintain the quality of the product. Besides, in this issue, we found that the suitable material handling for the shipment of vaccine from the point of origin to the point of consumption is really needed to meet the smart containers. Malaysia, they managed to use the smart containers where they use the cold storage for the vaccine in order to meet the suitable characteristic. Moreover, challenges that faced by the logistic during pandemic issue is the parcel and e-commerce performance. All these online platform brands such as Lazada, Shopee, Zalora were really a fight um, um, first emphasizing the chosen logistic company that can be their partner to move the goods to their customer. The chosen of logistic company need to be valued from the performance of the logistic history. Lastly, the e-challenges facing brands as the one of the challenges faced by the logistics sector. Online shopping brands understand that enhancing their omni-channel logistical capability is critical and urgent. The challenges of the logistics during pandemic issue is the reliability of the brands towards logistics sector, which they do not really confident about the comparability of the logistics, especially during critical and urgent events such as pandemic issue COVID-19. As a conclusion, as a logistician, we need to think wisely to manage the movement of the product from one point to another point by applying seven rights of logistic, which includes the movement of the right products with the right quantity, with the right condition at the right time to the right place at the right cost and finally to the right customer. This application is really needed to be a logistician a for a better performance to meet the customer demand in order to reach customer satisfaction. Next, we will continue to the chapter 2, which will present by Fatin Khalida. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatin Khalida binti Kamarudin and my metric number is 268068. And today I'm going to present to you guys about chapter 2, which is We'll explain about multifunctional of customer service in logistics. COVID-19 happens, industry in logistics and e-commerce sales rising that open an opportunity for logistics company to do an observations on effective way to provide for service like pickup, transport, transportation, sortation and delivery. This e-commerce growth that has followed COVID-19 has increased demand for rapid delivery and storage space that boosting logistics business profit margins and pushing expansion. The fundamental relationship between logistics and marketing is frequently customer service. If the logistics system, particularly outbound logistics, fails and a customer does not get a delivery on time, the firm risks losing future revenue. Even if manufacturing can create a decent, decent product, at a reasonable price and marketing can sell it, the client will be disappointed if logistics does not deliver it and where, when and where promised. To put it another way, the product or service has no value until it is in the hand of the client or consumers. We'll discuss about uh, the four dimension of multifunctional customer service in logistics, which is consist time, dependability, communication, and convenience. Time is the first dimension. The order cycle is an important part of the customer service in the time dimension. To avoid sounding repetitive, today's firm are attempting to minimize order cycle time as long as longer cycle time imply larger the inventory requirements. From the seller perspective, the time factor is generally order time. When it comes to customer service, the lead time or replenishment time is how the buyer generally, genera, generally refers to the time dimension. As we can see here, uh, 
uh, these are the process of order cycle time that can be divided into four steps, which are order transmittal, order processing, order preparation, and order shipment. Uh, for the order transmittal, which is specifies how the order list is moved from the its starting point to the site where the order entry will be processed. It can be done by hand or a computer, which is manual or computer. Next are the order processing, which is uh, represented by a number of steps in the client order cycle. Uh, order processing also a crucial component of order fulfillment is the process of workflow associated with the selection, packaging and delivery of package item to a shipping carrier, picking, sorting, pre-consolidating or package creation and consolidation are some of the tasks involved in this process. Next are the order prepar preparation. The activity of collecting the relevant information regarding the desired uh, product or service and formally requesting the item to be obtained are referred to as obtaining the necessary information and formally requesting uh, items to be acquired. Lastly is the order shipment. After the uh, item has been packed, it is sent to the client. Some 3PL, which is uh, third-party providers, have preferred carriers while other rates shop to guarantee that their clients get the best delivery costs. As we can see here, for the company example that we use in uh, time for the mention of the multifunctional customer service, which is first is Postlaju. For example, parcel delivery service like Postlaju company, if they change from B to B, business to business, which is has many location and places, they have to go and deliver their, uh, their parcel. As a result, the time it takes to complete the deliveries on low density routes is pushing network over the capacity in many locations. And B2C, it will straight to the end consumer and will make buying and selling circuit shorter. But in small quantity of merchandise that we will deliver, that post larger relationship only with the retailer until the end of consumers. Next is Procter and Gamble company that, like this case of the company, one of the largest consumer products firm in the world. Procter and Gamble joined the Chinese market in 1992. Its item required to be delivered on time and in timely manner in order to capture a significant uh, portion of the Chinese market. PNG has a high need for logistic service in term for reaction speed, service dependability dependability and quality assurance. Because every client, uh, every customer wants to know if their provider is dependable and meets the specified standards satisfactorily, dependability is just as essential as a bad first impression. Because every customer wants to know that their supplier, regardless what, of what it is, is trustworthy and will deliver the agreed upon service including great quality within the set time frame without sacrificing uh, quality and dependability is just as, as important as the first impression, which is time, that consistent order cycle, safe delivery and complete delivery are three components of dependability. For cycle time, the reliability of lead time does has a direct impact on the customer inventory and stock up costs. Providing a consistent lead time alleviates some of the uncertainty that a client encounter. A vendor who can guarantee the consumer a certain uh, degree of lead time plus the leeway distinguish its goods from that of its competitors. Next, in dependability, company must implement safe delivery that the safe delivery of an order is the ultimate aim of every logistic system. The logistics function is the logical extension of the sales function. If the items arrive damaged or missing, the client will, the customer will unable to utilize them as intended. A defective cargo aggravates multiple customers, call centers, inventories, manufacturing, and marketing. 
Lastly, company necessary in important correct order for customer in their business that the accurate fulfillment of orders is under the purview of review of reliability. A customer who has impatiently expecting a delivery from an urgent uh, required cargo may learn that the seller made an error in completing the order after receiving the package. If the customer does not receive what was asked, he or she may lose sales or output. For the company uh, example, like Gardena, even though e-commerce is booming to, during this difficult time, some company like, for example, famous company brand in Malaysia, like Gardenia, during our first MCO, Movement Control Order, has uh, experiencing difficulties like stock up when Malaysia citizens do the panic buying. That shown the Gardenia company does not have good planning on order cycle and forecasting their lead time. Next, for the good company that makes safe delivery as their way to attract more customer, either new or their loyal customer, which is happened in United States company, which is uh, known as DC Shoe Store, that as social distancing is um, recommended around the world in this pandemic, DC Shoe Store gave an alternative during the Mother's Day and pick up their customer preference shoes and safe delivery by their own co-owner door to door across the town. And then in Malaysia, we also have company that use safe delivery like parcel service JN, which is JNT, Post Lajo and DHL that safely de deliver customer parcels and goods like also uh, food delivery brand like Food Panda and Grab food, uh, delivery uh, food and groceries in front of customer houses safely and conveniently. Next, for the dimension of the multifunctional of customer service is communication, which is at all time, all communication channels must be uh, accessible and available to all consumer. If the logistics manager does not connect with the clients, he or she will be unable to provide the most efficient and effective service. From uh, on in that on the other hand, on the other hand, communication must be a two different street. Uh, that sellers must be able to provide customer with crucial logistical uh, information provided. Furthermore, many clients are interested in knowing how their shipments are progressing uh, logistically. Customer may inquire about the shipping data, carrier and route, for example. The, uh, the client who need information to organize an operation anticipate from response from the logistic manager. Uh, next is how to communicate and build relationship with customer during the COVID-19. First is by maintaining communication with your workers and client. Uh, next is maintain everything in one place and freely obtainable. Offering uh, practical assistance to consumers uh, in trouble. And lastly, continue to demonstrate your, your viewers that you care. Which is essential measure in communication to manage the effect of COVID-19 on logistics. For the first point is a uh, different supply chain function that partner with and integrate the various supply chain activities such as procurement for new provider agreements, supply and inventory control and sales and customer service for customer prioritizing. Next is suppliers or carrier should strive to manage expectation and proactively assess their performance in relation to a new set of service level standards. Next is consumers. Give wholesaler, distributor channels and consumer as much as uh, information as possible regarding the impact of COVID-19 interruption on service level agreements. Lastly, uh, in virtual workers, we have to adopt new ways of working quickly in order to handle remote workers, look for ways to keep them involved and productive, such as tracking daily actions with transportation planners, instill in them a feeling of purpose and dedication to overcome the problem and retaining the trust. These are the company examples that respond to the COVID-19 and have a good engagement with their customer, which is uh, Walmart, Nike, Apple, Grab, One Capital, and JetBlue. 
next slide, which is the last part of the mention in multifunctional of multifunctional of customer service in logistics, that which is convenience, uh, convenience often known as flexibility, needs a degree of logistic service level flexibi flexibility. Establishing one or several standard service levels that apply to all customers will be ideal from the logistical viewpoint. But this assumes that all customer logistics demand are homogeneous, which is not always the case in this instance. Other ways to phrase, uh, to phrase it is that the level of logistical support must be flexible. It will be desirable from the standpoint of logistic, logistical operation to have a few basic service level that apply to all customer. This does not, however, imply to all clients logistical requirement are the same. In reality, though, this is, isn't the case. In the slide, uh, there is uh, an essential measures in flexibility or convenience to manage the effect of COVID-19 on logistic, which is consists four point. Uh, that is, uh, manage market forces, utilize uh, online freight platform, partners with other business, and increase the number of deliveries. Example in convenience, uh, for example, like third party logistic provider like courier service, freight forwarder, and ocean carrier needed to be flexible in order to reach customer satisfaction. Like tracking, which is courier service that stated in the article, like even most of them are, are using less truck load like Amazon, DHL Express, and FedEx, that their services are offer a variety of delivery service that flexible to customer to choose more delivery options to meet uh, customer's demand and fulfill their satisfaction. Next, uh, LTS, uh, LTL, less truck load, also give advantages to company that ship faster, mean of delivering your goods. You don't have to wait for the customer to place enough orders to fill a whole truck load before shipping things out, even when you employ LTL, when you employ, employ the LTL free. This issue has prompted uh, e-commerce to expand the new firm, customer and product types. It has provided clients with access to a wide selection of products from the safety and stability of their own homes, and as well as allowing business to continue functioning despite um, contact limit and other restraints. During the COVID-19, customer service also important to logistics and the business that we stress these four di dimensions of multi multifunctional of customer service in logistics which are time dependability communication and convenience in order to build good relationship and engagement with customer in logistics engagement is important to ensure our company will operate with long time and increase high profit that's all for me i will pass to next presenter Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Safia and I will talk about the chapter 8 that based on the global shipping challenges, important of multimodal and optimization strategies that could help to mitigate the global freight movement. For the introduction, the pandemic COVID-19 has been one of the factors that lead to the container freight freight rate search and container shipping shortage. This results to the potential loss and delay in shipping faces by the trading businesses. Container constraints have troubled exporters as worldwide demand for items such as laptops and gadgets that increased during the outbreak of pandemic. Port related Port related protocols lower lowered manpower and made it more difficult to load and unload efficiently that lead to port congestion. The turnaround time for certain containers practically double while the cost of delivering delivering item increase. So this is among the factors that contribute to the problems that occur. First uh, is the change on consumer pattern in buying. Due to the closure of businesses, 
the purchasing pattern centered on e-commerce has increased dram dramatically throughout this pandemic crisis. The consumer sole option for satisfying their consumption demand is only through the purchase online. Next is the incident in March 2021, the ever given uh, 20,000 container cargo ship getting caught sideways in the Suez Canal. But as we all know, even before this incident happened, the problems of shortage, container shortage and freight, freight rate surge already occur and this incident just make it more worse. Uh, a huge container ship hitting a ground and blocking such a vital shipping route could have a serious consequences for global export trade that can lead to increase the bottleneck problem that already appeared even before this incident happened. Next, I will talk about the multimodal in transportation. Multimodal transportation is defined as the moving of goods in a single loading unit or road vehicle that successfully employs two or more modes of transportation uh, without having to change modes. The operation in the multimodal transport chain are managed by a carrier or a multimodal operator. Among the various players and service providers involved in multimodal transportation are ship owners, truck and rail carriers, freight forwarders, agents and cargo brokers. Multimodal can all be combined into a single or comprehensive service. But it is crucial to note that with multimodal transportation, the movement of products from the sender to the receiver is covered by a single carriage fee for the whole transport chain. The multimodal mode generally is a cost efficiency as it reduces insurance pricing. It may also provide competitive rates. When a forwarder oversees the complete logistic service, rather than just one stage of it, he or she can usually nego negotiate cheaper pricing. This is because it has a better understanding of the shipping process and how to optimize expenses at each stage. The multimodal structure approach has directly affected the better management of cargo flows documentation control of the logistic and freight forwarding sector and has gained an altogether new and more quality dimension i will pass to mark to the next members for the for the presentation so we move to the next point which is optimization strategies basically optimization strategy plays such a big role in trade industry especially in globalization this strategy should be implemented in the industry to ensure the safety, security and the efficiency of the movement of the transport from the point of origin to the point of consumption. This strategy includes policy maker, capacity management and increasing freight rates could help to mitigate the global freight movement. For the first optimization strategy is called policy maker. Policy is important in every situation to ensure the activities could be done smoothly, especially during this pandemic issue of COVID-19. Basically, policy makers could be defined as a person in charge or concerned in the formulation of policies, particularly in politics. For the next optimization strategies called capacity management. Capacity management plays such a big role in the global shipping industry where the management of the capacity was really influenced the efficiency for the movement of goods from point of origin to the point of consumption. Basically, capacity is the main thing that important before any activities of movement of goods occurred. 
As logistician, we need to apply the well plan of the capacity management to maximize the service in order to minimize the cost. Capacity management is one of the important key performance of the modes of transport to meet customer demand to reach customer satisfaction. Next, I will pass to my member, which is Fatin Kalida. Increasings in freight rates that a global shortage of shipping containers raises the cost of import and export putting pressure on businesses and threatening to put more money in customer pockets. Due to the reg regulatory limits on coronavirus pandemic management, a shift from services to commodities has made it harder to business to transport the containers they require throughout the world. The horizon of freight rates might be the one of the alternative to help in mitigate the global freight movement. It is clear to see that the increasing of freight rate has influ influenced the movement of goods from one point to another point. Indeed, it ma also might be helping the mitigate, to mitigate the global freight movement during the pandemic issue of COVID-19. As a result, this aspect might also cause a delay in expected delivery time when they need to respond faster than Please. Previously, when the supply chain is moving to the end of customer without any additional cost. We conclude in this chapter, chapter 8. The pandemic issue of COVID-19 has provoked the global shipping, content, uh, shipping challenge. Besides, the importance of multimodal could be summed up with multimodal transport can be substantially improved transport efficiency and reduced transportation costs for the entire process integration organization transport service whereby reduce highway congestion, reduce cargo damage, reduce transportation costs and promote energy savings and emission reduce reduction by more than one third. Moreover, the other importance of multimodal could be described as improved accessibility to rail and ship improve control of cargo and documentation, and improve efficiency of terminal to meet customer demand to reach customer satisfaction. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I am from group Hufflepuff with my member mates, which is Iza Zurina, Fatin Kalida, and me myself if is Nur Safia with my ID number is 268080. I'm going to talk about chapter 9 which is the reason behind the visibility and empowerment of Amazon supply chain in warehouse management. Firstly, I will talk about warehouse management system WMS which is the vital key logistic and supply chain applications that can assist business for effectively tracking and tracing inventory. It also allow them to grow and develop as a leader in the logistic and supply chain market. WMS main function include receiving, putting away, picking and packaging, shipping, cycle, cycle counting and replenishment. When the customer expects the whole supply chain operation to be managed in real time and instantaneously, operating these activities without WMS or IT technology is difficult for them. With the rise of the e-commerce industry, many businesses, particularly those in the supply chain and logistics, are looking for technology solutions that will help them to grow their operations more effectively as well as pro provide new and improved service to their clients to stay ahead of the logistic industry. Amazon itself, which is the highly success successful tech company, has, has risen to become the world's largest internet retailer because they have the capacity to construct, to construct one of the most supply chain that contribute uh, to their success. Amazon supply chain digitalization has propelled them to the top and given them significant advantage over their e-commerce competitors because of first automation and advanced robot. 
Amazon has made significant investment in technology to increase their distribution in its warehouse and customer service. Amazon changed the supply chain by automating traditional warehouse procedures to obtain the efficiency. Pegasus, Zentus, Robostov, Slam Machine and Canvas technology are among the robotics in the Amazon warehouse. At the fulfillment center, robots improve performance and accuracy. Robots also plays a key role in Amazon effort to provide a better, quicker and more consistent customer experience. Next is deeply learning artificial intelligence. Amazon supply chain creates significant opportunities to harness the benefits of AI towards them. And Amazon demonstrates the highest level of AI adoption dri driven by investment in virtual assistant and personalized marketing. Next is the management planning. Amazon purchase uh, Kiva technologies in order to boost the efficiency and profitability of its warehouse and fulfillment center network. After that, after that uh, Amazon discontinue selling Kiva robots publicly after piloting and improving them in its warehouse and it becomes one of the one of Amazon advantage. Lastly is the symphony of humans and machines working together in the Amazon warehouse. warehouse. The most frequent job done by human in an Amazon warehouse is picking goods off shelves to complete customer order. Robots have increased the user pickers output from 100, 100 to 300 or 400 items per hour. Robots merely enhance human efficiency rather than replace them, resulting in increase in the number of warehouse jobs instead of decrease in the number of warehouse employment. And next, for the conclusion, this demanding delivery schedule puts existing logistic and supply chain models to the test, forcing firms to rethink their strategies in order to provide the low cost on demand delivery service that customer usually demand. So Amazon supply chain management has been very outstanding because it finding it challenging for competitors with lesser volumes to keep up with them. Amazon is pressuring its rival to invest more in supply chain automation, shorten overall product delivery time, develop warehouse capacity, and even participate in the management process. This is what this is what Amazon have been done to keep their business on top and maintain the invisibility, invisibility empowerment in their warehouse. That's all from me. Thank you.